Hi everyone, welcome to GoPrice. In this video, we'll be looking at the Huawei MatePad Pro, which is the tablet that I absolutely love. It came in just in time before the lockdown and it has accompanied me ever since and I'm totally, totally loving it. So without further ado, let me tell you what I like about the Huawei MatePad Pro. Let's go. Coming in at RM2399, the Huawei MatePad Pro has a 90% screen to body ratio with a 4.9mm narrow bezel. The 10.8 inch IPS panel with 2560 by 1600 resolution supports 10 points touch. It comes with fingerprint resistant film and most importantly, the color looks great. The lock button and the volume buttons are placed at the corner where the camera is located. Right out of the box, the output seems accurate based on my photos from my commercial photography work. It has DCI-P3 color gamut and 540 nits brightness. When it comes to taking photos, well, it's not actually nice to be taking photos with a tablet. But if you're interested to see, here are the pictures of which I took with the MatePad Pro. And as for the videos, here it is. This is a recording here at Desa Park City on a sunny day using the front camera with my arms fully stretched out and my voice at normal volume. Now let's head over to the back camera. Alright again, my hands are stretched out and this is using the back camera with the situation being bright and sunny over here at Desa Park City. But I can't do much of a demo right now because of the MCO but this is what I can get at least from my outings all right so that's it for this video test of the Huawei MatePad Pro as for video purpose the delay between actual motion and what's shown on screen makes the MatePad Pro uncomfortable to use this is the same phenomenon seen on their smartphone models like the P30 so what is it like to be gaming on a tablet like this? Let me show you. The Huawei MatePad Pro comes with four speakers of which two are placed on each side of the tablet. Audio output, it's loud enough to wake up anyone sleeping in the same room or even the next room. Quality is really good for a mobile device and this is thanks to the Harman Kardon tuned speakers. The 7250 mAh battery is much welcome on the device as such. When playing 4K video, it drains just about 1% per minute and charging wise, it's fast too. With the bundled 20W USB Type-C charger, it goes also at around 1% per minute. It can be even faster if one uses the 40W charger and it can also be charged wirelessly. Both devices sold separately. When it comes to mobile devices like this, being able to use the app that you want is very important. And working against the Huawei Mate Pad Pro is that it lacks Google mobile services. So those apps that are on Google Play Store, well, they may not be available here. Sure, Huawei has their app gallery and there are some apps there as well, but there's no guarantee whether the, the app that you're using will be found there. As for me, I couldn't use Facebook app, for example, but I use the web version of Facebook. So that pretty much settles that. Same goes to apps like WhatsApp. I use the web version, so that's the workaround. No Instagram here. Well, those of you who are interested, there might be ways to install, but I cannot guarantee that you'll be able to use it well in the long run, especially if there's an update or anything. But regardless, you just need to know whether your app is available on the app gallery over here in Huawei's own system. If you are reliant on it and it's not available, then clearly this device is not for you. But as for me, it works totally fine because my smartphone, yes, I need Google's mobile services, but over on this tablet, my usage is different. So I do not rely on Google's mobile services over here. I can access my email, my Facebook, and my WhatsApp. So it's all good. I've used it for many purposes. I've used it as a presentation device, meaning I put it here when I do my presentation and there's notes around. I've used it in my business meetings, 
I use it as a second screen when I do streaming that I can monitor the chats that or the comments that appear on my live stream. So these are my use cases of which I think the Huawei MatePad Pro here works really well for. I like that the UI on this tablet has a function that enables me to run two apps side by side. The Huawei MatePad Pro also has a desktop mode and you are able to output the screen from the Huawei MatePad Pro via the USB Type-C connection. All right, so we come to the end of this video. What do I think of the Huawei MatePad Pro? I think it's awesome stuff. I totally love it. I'm giving it a gold badge because it just fits into my workflow so easily. I am, well, at least on my usage for this tablet, I'm not so dependent on Google mobile services. So it's all right. Everything works out just fine. But for those of you who are totally reliant on Google's mobile services, then clearly you wouldn't even be looking at this tablet. So, all right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.